Phillips and y'all. If y'all like to get him to your church, y'all go run him down and get his telephone number and yeah. give him a call. Amen. Dan Wilson, yeah. Listen, while the tornadoes are getting set up up here, I'd like to do something, if y'all don't mind. There's a couple of little kids that go to my church, and I love them to death. I, I love the kids. Listen, the kids are our future. Amen. Without kids, churches die, and, and we've seen a lot of churches die in this area. Do you realize there are 17 churches in this area alone that have closed their doors over the past five years? That's sad. That's sad. But praise God, Narrow Way Fellowship is still going strong. Amen. All because of God. But I'm going to get Bentley to come up here. Bentley last week and the week before last was in the hospital with Caesars. He has autism. He's a little afraid. But he's on the feeding tube all the time. And his Caesars last year caused him to go non-responsive for 45 minutes. Now I'm going to ask some of my preacher friends to come up here with me. And I want to lay hands on Bentley and pray for him and pray for his family. And if you believe in the power of prayer, I want you to reach your hands out up toward this way. And I want you to pray for this young man that God will take care of him and use him in a mighty, mighty way. And bring him out of these seizures and bring him out of his shyness and bring him out of this autism. Use this to glorify God's name. Amen. Father God, as we lay our hands on Bentley right now, Lord, we just ask you, Father, to fill him up with your spirit. God, let him feel your spirit from his head to his toes, Lord. Just indwell this young man, Lord. We know that in your word, in Jeremiah 29, 11, you tell us you know the plans that you have for us and his plans to prosper us and not to harm us, to give us hope and the future. Father, I pray, God, that he will hold on to the future that you have for him, Lord. He will become the man of God that you have got planned for him to be, Lord. He will lead people to the Lord that no one else will ever be able to get close to. Father, we just want to praise your holy name right now for what you're about to do in and through this young man, in and through his family, Father. Continue to be with his grandmother and his sister as they have to deal with all the things that go on in his life. God, let them know that you love them and you'll never, ever, ever leave them nor forsake them. Father, we praise you in Jesus' holy name. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, folks. Thank you so much. Well, I've been talking about these fellas all day.